class is in session and the professor is in. What's happening? We're having some early morning twitching. So we're going to be doing uh, the video, which I didn't get a chance to do earlier, but I'm going to do it right now. We are doing the heavy hitters video. You're here because the top four that you have or don't have uh, means that you want to find a different way to help out your faction. So if you don't have any of those top four, make sure you chop, check out that top four video. I'll put the link up on the screen right there. But if you don't have one of the top four heaviest hitters for this one, this video is for you. So we're going to try our best to take advantage of the power gems, cross break gems, uh, and all of these purple gem damage to do the to do the helping. You're not going to carry your team, but you know what? You're going to do enough damage. Maybe two or three of these guys can help you win out your boss battle, help your faction hit those 23s. So let's bro. So first off and foremost, hey, I got to actually click these sorts of things. Apparently I have something here. He's not going to be your heavy hitter, but this red dot will annoy me for the rest of my life. But purple gems do 400% more damage. We can talk about him later. But the heavy hitters uh, for this group of focused people uh, is actually going to be, I think, Seth Anardo. I think Seth Anardo having not only the turtle moment is going to help, but cross break gems, bonus for cross break gems, and then being able to put power gems and getting that extra bonus for the power gem. So putting cross breaks, getting the bonus, putting down power gems, blowing up the board, rinse and repeat. I think that'll do well for him. And with the turtle moment itself, when it is maxed out, we're going to get extra power gem damage and extra cross break gem damage, the two things that we're, we're looking for. So it will definitely help uh, him out. So I'm thinking Seth Leonardo is going to be one of our um, one of our heavy hitters that you can bring to your lineup. I understand he's not free to play, but this is a video of heavy hitters. So I'm just going to tell you the heavy hitters. I do got a couple of free to play versions out there as well. And then of course we always got the bargain bin video that's going to be coming up next. So be sure to check out that one when it drops. Uh, our next heavy hitter was uh, in the debate for actually being the top four. And I think uh, Julius Creed might be able to do it all by himself or Julius Creed and somebody else from the heavy hitter should be able to take out this boss. Creed with his gear, with his extra uh, MP, uh, not his, his extra uh, damage when it comes to multiply gems. Um, so putting multiply gems down, increasing your purple gem damage, uh, and then breaking the traps, which also increases your purple gem damage, um, and letting it rip and letting it fly uh, from there. So two, uh, so Julius Creed or Lucius Creed, shout out Daviest of Ds, uh, I think he's going to be uh, excellent for this one. I think also in line for the excellence of this one is someone like the Tussos. All right, because the Tussos with their gear getting that extra 150% damage for all the color gems is going to be uh, killer as well too. And the multiply gems also get times five and that's a universal moment if you've already got it. So that will be a really good buff on him. Just going triple purple, increase your strength of your multiply gems. Um, it has a three by one for pyro. So this pyro gem um, and it will also, well, this move will work because it is an area and it's not random. So this pyro gem will work right here. Turn all the purples into multiplies. And uh, as my friends across the pond would say, Bob's your uncle. So he's also going to be really good. And last but not least, uh, let's see if we can find him in all of the chaos here. A free to play person that y'all could use if he's, oh my God, how are we ever going to find this? I'm going to have to go by class go by class and we can find a free to play version of somebody that I think can be a heavy hitter. Ta 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 ta. We can go ahead and use Kofi Angelo. Uh, and with Kofi Angelo, you are going to make power gems. You're going to buff up those, uh, power gems. And then using this juggernaut gem move, you can increase the strength of it. It'll get your purple MP up. So you'll be able to, it'll take a little bit longer. Um, not sure if you would want to put in, the sub itself, um, or if you would want to put in sort of the finisher, maybe do a tricolor move set. Uh, that way you can help with the shield when the green shield uh, comes up. Again, the turtle moment um, is going to do ta da, right? So it's going to do extra power gems, right? 100% more on the power gems. So that's going to be able to help you as well, too. So there's another free to play option of someone who's going to be a heavy hitter. We got two turtles on the board. Uh, let's keep going 
Ta -da, da, 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 da. Aggressively, aggressively aggressive, uh, we're going to say, if you did get them, that Shredder. Right, so if you did get yourself Shredder so far, again, same cross break, power gem sort of stuff is going to work for him. Bottom three rows into multiplies, multiplies turn into purple, and then you can reload it with this, but you can probably just hit uh, these two basically together, uh, and you'll be able to destroy the board pretty well. So Roman Shredder on his own, <laughs> on his own weekend, him against him uh, would be a good one to use. Uh, the other one that I, I like for this one to do a lot of damage uh, is also Muta. So the great Muta, um, doing a sort of a tri-color build here, you're going to get that massive damage for purple gems. The sub is going to put more multiplies on the board and then destroy the board two times over. It's, it's going to hit some purple gems. The problem is it doesn't make um, it doesn't make the entire board purple. I understand that, but I still think that can be a good option. It'll be slower, but it's going to do some some good hits for you right there. Last but not least, and the final one on our list, actually, let's change this around right here. Let's put uh, that right there. So that way, it is a turtle boss, basically, for the extra heavy hitters that are going to come through on this. I do love uh, Xavier Tello, Donna Woods. I don't know, however you want to say it. Uh, traps, power gems, purple gems, multiplies pretty easy. We've seen how much uh, he is now hitting. And so I think this is going to be a great hit for, uh, for everything uh, that we're looking for in this boss. So there's your heavy hitters. So hopefully you've got one of these guys that can help out you and your crew. If you don't have one of the top four, or if you just want to get a different category and want to help out your team, these are going to be heavy hitters. Make sure to check out the boss bargain bin. That video is coming out next. Thanks for coming to class. Professor out.